Welcome back to the show, guys. Our second guest this afternoon is a Nigerian guitarist and music producer who is known for his treble guitar solos infused with high life, steeped guitar lines. He's associated with various top artists. Ladies and gentlemen, Fioki is in the building. Oh my God, it's Fioki. See, it, doesn't, know, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound good in my voice. Do you know what I just oh envisaged? Like, oh my God, it's Fioki. If he came God. with his guitar, he's <laughs> right, like, let, let me try it. You know that let me work. try it. Let me try it. Uh, oh my God, it's, it's Fioki. Ah, we're going to the studio. <laughs> I mean, you, I have, to, you I have to add some sexiness to it. I actually like, yeah. that voice. Yes. Oh, you know, oh my God, it's Fioki. Okay. That's Fioki. Oh, it's just a it's like oh my God, it's Fioki. <laughs> you know but that you one know, factor? What, when you hear okay. that guitar, when I wipe the guitar. Okay. Okay. Wipe. You know, this introduction actually reminded me. This introduction reminded me of Fioki with the guitar. So imagine we introduced and said, oh my God, it's Fioki. And then he goes, <laughs> like, <laughs> interesting. Well Amazing. done on your words. Congratulations. Congratulations, Fioki. Yes. So. I mean, you know, looking at um, you know what you do, you're a guitarist, and mm -hmm. I think that um, you have done something fantastic for yourself. Yes. You yes. have done so well for yourself. And why am I saying this? I'm saying this because yes, we know that people play instruments, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we say big ups to them. They're doing well and yeah. all that. But you took it a step further, mm -hmm. you know, by. Getting artists, working with artists, and then we know your name, you put that, you know, stuff on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, somebody is doing, like, yeah, you can be seen <laughs> as a guitarist. Mm -hmm. Yes. You don't have to always be in the background, like, playing, yeah. and then people don't know you, mm -hmm. and they're not applauding you enough. Yes. That's the reason why I had to come out. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, you can't be putting that amount of work, and then people don't even know who Word. you are. I mean, uh, wh when did you start to notice this and say that, okay, I want to make a name for myself, and yeah. I want to step out? I thought about it, like, uh, there are some artists, when they open mouth, they be like, uh, so this person, even, they even recognize and pass me, say, <laughs> Then me, that I know about music, I know I have so much depth, the theory, the practical, I've been, you pay attention to, I've been playing guitar for 20, 22 years, so everything that I have, take I, your flowers. Uh, Wait, uh, no, I mean, flowers you, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought about it like uh, everything that I'm achieving today. Mm -hmm. I started planning it like ten years ago. That's why I see when, when you see su success and yeah. huge ach achievement, they didn't just wake up. When you hear yeah. a particular name, there's something about them. So yeah. I, I thought about it that uh, I want to use the list tool to make mm. a huge impact. Everybody's just in microphone. Let me just use guitar. Yeah. yeah. And in this part of the world, they don't appreciate guitarists, instrumentalists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you hold guitar, the first place they will think of church instrumentalists oh, yeah. and bass. <laughs> That's the highest place they yeah, will see. True. I said, no, no, I need to change that mentality and narrative. Very true. Uh, so how do I do it first? Study, and I decided to study the game, know how the system works. Mm -hmm. If somebody coughs with the microphone, <clears throat> they will appreciate it more than guitar. Me, I say, I need to look for a way that if I play guitar with mm. an, an artist, you must notice me. Notice, yeah. First, I need to make sure that I know what I'm doing on my yeah. instrument. Most important. Very important. First, Very. My, I got, got my foundations right. Then I started to see how I stand out as a guitarist. Mm -hmm. So guitarists, most of the guitarists see guitar as instruments. I see guitar as a microphone. So once I hold guitar like this, in my head, I'm holding my microphone. So yeah. Yeah. apparently, once I start playing, I'll have to make sure that I am singing with the guitar, not playing. Mm. So by the time, if I strike the guitar, I'm singing to a particular lyrics that we don't even know about. Yeah. So my wow. guitar has hidden vocals. So once I play, you say, ah, there's something about it. Are you playing to a song? No, it's not a song. I'm trying to assume I'm playing to a song. Well. Then another, another mindset I had was, if I, if I play on stage with an artist, mm -hmm. there must be some melody that is sweeting you. That is connecting mm -hmm. to you. If you, if you are not listening to the artist, there's a particular sound that you're listening to. Yeah. So I was, I was intentional about me trying to push myself from just behind the same guy. Yeah. For so many years, from 2010, I worked on the band Scapegoat. So after then, I became the band's official guitarist for more hits then. Then I did go bay, David. Do, do, then industry used wow. to be, uh, industry used to be, if you don't play hit song one, Two, three. They don't accept you in the industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we did Woju for Kizania, did Laie, then Good Time, me mm. and DJ Kublon. We did that. Now did Duo for Techno, Wash and Techno 2. We did the Simi's first single, Thief to Jeremy to Owambe, Smile wow. for Me. Wow, 
to, yeah, so, you can't do orange and uh, and pick up. Okay, so okay. so I love that you've broken this down. Mm -hmm. You know wow. why? I was on your Instagram page and I saw something that um, somebody posted, mm -hmm. and they said, "Oh, Fioki just came from nowhere." Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And yes, he said Fioki just came from nowhere and dropped a, a ten over ten album. And then your caption was, "I did not just come from nowhere." Oh, go and do your research. research. So I like that you've actually broken this down because I was gonna ask, what's the journey been like? Yeah, that's that's it for you. Wow. So, so see me full first album, the old guitars, I did all those things. Mm -hmm. Adekule goes oriented. I remember Adekule goes had 5k followers. <laughs> <laughs> then, oriented, I said, who is this guy? Because he, somebody actually tell, he actually had to call somebody to call me. Wow. Uh, Oscar to call me. Say, ah. Well, I said, well, Oscar, somebody can call you. But wow. these guys are big stars mm -hmm. now. Yes, they yeah, are. Yeah. So Major. They, Major. They all grew up. In my presence, Kizani was somewhere like this recording me when I was playing on Woju. Oh, wow. But when you see them becoming superstars now, I say, okay. It just makes you happy. Yeah, it makes me happy. Then I felt like, okay, I think it's time for, for me to, to start getting yeah, my flowers. Yeah, you can't even be yes. in the background. So I started featuring oh. them on my projects. Mm. And, um, so that's like, I keep telling people that, uh, what you give to the industry, you don't yeah. expect industry to give you back. Wow. So I didn't expect all these artists to be loyal to me when they become yeah. superstars. Mm -hmm. all I, I can use anybody to achieve any sound. So but some of them actually responded, uh, very connected with flavor. Mm -hmm. I did my first single, official single was Independent Woman featuring Jumabi. When I did it, I said, like, Wizzy Baby, oh my God. So that one just <laughs> took me from being a guitarist to an artist. artist. So I now have two personalities, Shoki the guitarist and Shoki as an artist. Oh, wow. yeah, so, so I started dropping singles upon singles. Yeah. Then and I said, I think it's time for me to drop album. Amazing. And the reason why I named the album mine is because you see the, the journey, the storyline, yeah. switching yes. from the bunch as a guitarist wow. to flavor guitarist yeah. and doing all those the flavors growth. albums. The growth. Did, did, yeah, in doing levels that, that was trending throughout last year. So what? I, wow. said, I said, let me call this album man, because wow. I'm a full grown man and I turned 40. Now man, you yes. did it! Man. <laughs> My teeth complete. <laughs> <laughs> look at that face. Come on, look at that face. <laughs> My teeth complete. My facility is there. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> That's easy. You turned 40 right. this year. Well. Yeah, January 10. So, yeah, it's so, big. It's wait, big. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, I always ask this question. Mm. Sorry. So, what's cream I'm rubbing? Because... Why are you sure when uh, 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 you don't look you don't look past the I know. Oh. But when I said welcome to first floor, I said, Are you are you sorry, check what you you wrote on your camera. <laughs> are you saying thirtieth or fortieth? I said forty. We've been here since. That's you know, it's I came into the well. industry two thousand and eight through Star Quest reality show. Oh. Yes, oh. with your group yeah, back then. then. So I've found really signed to Kenny's music. So I've been Very true. consistent. Wow. Oh gee. All right. Yeah. That's <laughs> really amazing. Like that's a great yeah, journey. Because yeah. I remember uh, somewhere some years back mm -hmm. I read that the person who taught you how to play the guitar, you learned in two months, and then you taught him again. I'm like, a okay, driver. that's a fast learner. It what? So, a taxi driver. A, a taxi driver thought you had yeah, to Yeah, and he guitar. taught him. Like, he was like, I know the, more the now, good, a year yeah. later. The good thing was that uh, I, in my, my, I was, when I was six, I had the opportunity to learn soft foundation, soft foundation. Really. Yeah. So before mm -hmm. I could even play any instrument, if you sing in a Yoruba language, mm -hmm. Alsa, oh. Igbo, I don't need to even hear what you're saying, but the sound, I could write it. That's why they say music is universal. Mm -hmm. wow. okay. language, yeah. So talking about your growth, where you started from, where you are right now, you just mm -hmm. dropped an album, mm -hmm. and the album is doing well. I've seen one video, and I love it, the one with Le Belesh Mother. Yeah. And it's really amazing. <laughs> like, I was out with someone, and it was like, Who's this person? I'm like, he's been in the industry this for a while. This is soft guy with glasses. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then I love the fact that uh, you've worked with a lot of artists, and yeah. this particular album is packed with 24 features, hmm. 14 tracks. Like, yeah. how was it putting the body of work together, getting yeah. this artist and all of that? You know, now the, the challenge right there is this artist, everybody wants to be at the top. Yeah. yeah. So for you to not still buy time at time. So ah, I want to do my album. They have their own personal projects. Mm -hmm. They're under pressure trying to drop a hit song. Yeah. They see, at least gave you small time to actually give you a song. I appreciate That's everybody amazing. on this album. Uh, some of them, they were so busy, I was patient special enough to actually wait for them. They always say, I feel like no vex. So, ah, I go do them, I go do them. That's oh. why patience is key. Yes, at the end of the day, is. everybody came yeah. through. I had some guys from South America, Gina and Alex from Puerto Rico. I mm. featured them with the classic. And Nelson Freitas from Portugal mm. with Mastercraft on that song. Wow. I, uh, Lyrica and Mawasama. Lyrica is from Netherlands, Mawasama is from Tanzania. So, <laughs> why I did this was Ego touch my sound, <laughs> I think I have, uh, my sound is very, very wide. I'm very yeah. wide. So, I didn't really want to limit my sound to only 
Nigeria. 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 Break into those territories and tap into their platform as well. That's amazing. Fact, even even so genre wise, I mean, he mm -hmm. had no sir and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Gospel. Ah, so let's, let's, I mean, glory be to God. Fabulous, fabulous. We still have Yoki right here with us. Let's go on this break. <laughs> and he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. We still have superstar guitarist Fioki in the building. Woo! Woo! And you oh guys God, saw that Fioki. video, right? Strong the power of the no, 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 no. It was everything. Everything. Oh. Well done. <laughs> it Fioki. was everything to dun, me. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. So, talking about all these tunes and all those beats, earlier you said something about uh, people listening to music and the, the sound appealing to them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you've been able to make your sound very appealing, you've been able to establish your name, your name for yourself. And you've been able to show people that this is who Fioki is as a guitarist, as an artist. Mm -hmm. So how have you been able to work with your sound, giving you what you need, like getting royalties, getting monies and stuff like that, getting paid for your sound? Yeah, I started recording with artists. I started championing songs on my platform, Fioki Records. I have my own record label, properly run. No, okay, because the okay. ones where they use smart mm. I get it, I get it. I get <laughs> well structured. So I, this is where I place my song. I have some distributors that distribute so, so, so songs for me mm -hmm. on my own platform. So and I'm a member of a publishing society in the UK called PRS Ooh. for Music. Oh. And I have a publisher in New York. She's mm. white, she's British and American. So the music, the back end of the music, I've been able to structure it because before you start releasing content. You need to know where you're putting this content and what the revenue, the it's a return of investment. Yeah. yeah. yeah so that business part, I've been able to make sure that I structure it. That's well. very, very important mm. because, mm -hmm. you know, we keep talking about this, especially when artists actually get older and then they run into problems like maybe health issues and all that. Mm. And you're saying that, oh, this person had fame, but uh, how yeah. about the money at the end of the day? But then having said that, I've seen, uh, you know, people who, play guitars, auction their guitars like yeah. in Sonia Day yeah. at some point and all that. Mm -hmm. So I really want to know how many guitars do you have to start with? Do you have names for them? Uh, what plans do you have <laughs> in future? Will you be auctioning some? Will you be getting money off them? I mean, I mean, talk to us. Uh, uh, the way you romance <laughs> your, your, yeah, your yeah, guitars. I understand what you're, where you're coming from. Like you said, you have names for them. I think I, I, I will start naming them. I never had any names. I, I, just, ah! I, just, I just know that I have a special love. No one particular guitar has been and uh, paying my dues. What's I picked that guitar work for you for songs? So that one's uh, your big Good game. luck. It's <laughs> good luck charm. So yeah. how many do you have all together? I have about eight guitars. I've given some out. Okay. Oh. Once I give out, I'll get new ones. Okay. Yeah, oh, get nice. new ones. So at some point, are you going so to be auctioning? Yeah, yeah, sure. With time. There's that particular guitar, I'm going to be using it, using it because that guitar is legendary. Right? Okay, so wait, so what about the training? Stop giving out. Mm. What about trainings? Because you said you learned from me yeah. taxi yes. driver, and you went back to teach mm -hmm. him. I started, so I started playing guitar in year 2000. I moved to Warri 2003 while mm. I was in school. I remember I used to do a seminar for just because I'm not just a guitarist. Guitar is just like an NSAS hashtag. I have yeah. other personalities like music directing, yeah. live recording. I can do, oh. I can write book on bass, bass guitar Ooh. player. Yeah, wow. have your, wow. your chord chart and everything. So I used to do seminar back then in Worry. Mm -hmm. For keyboard, this is how you're supposed to hear yeah, them about dynamics, different how to sound on different genres of music. Because yeah. every genre of music has their own color. Mm. So when you play on R&B, you're sounding like a jazz, a jazz player. So I taught them about climax and all that. Even saxophone, everybody. Oh wow! Uh, so, hey. but as time goes, went on. Mm -hmm. I, I was too busy to be doing that. Mm. I was planning a seminar for 2020. Okay. Yeah. Before COVID-19 COVID yeah. 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 can't yeah. see yeah. that. Also, so. <laughs> so, I'm thinking of a way to actually give back to the society. Then, trying to lecture the young ones that are looking up to me to actually be business conscious. Yeah. Because I, the reason why I'm doing this is just for me to create an industry for instrumentalists mm, okay. and create value for them. When you see guitarists on the road, you remember Fioki, you see give them small, yeah, small yeah, value. Yeah, yeah, you are not go see them less, less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I've been trying that's to do. So I, think, mm, I think that's very important mm -hmm. because when you think of Yanni and all that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you, and mm -hmm. they're big. So that means you play more than a guitar, you know, you, you yeah. play more instruments. I direct vocals. If you are, most of the times I'm more than a guitarist in the studio. When you see when when I'm in the studio with someone, yeah. we see this artist. But I need to get credit as a guitarist. As a guitarist, so yeah. I didn't want to confuse my 
listeners and audience. Because yeah. I needed to project that Fioki brand as a guitarist. Mm. Yeah. Meanwhile, other elements, I have them. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, okay, so now, yeah, now yeah, that yeah. we know that you do a lot yeah. of other things, apart from just being an artist mm -hmm. and a guitarist, what else should we expect from you and then from your new body of work, videos? What else are you working on? Yeah, I keep every year I keep surprising people. Nobody saw this album coming. So that's yeah. how I'm going to be surprising you people. <laughs> Tell us an exclusive. Okay. Shock us. Give us an exclusive. Okay. I'm planning to drop another body of work this year because this ah, one this just year? yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, not, it's not every song that made it, made it to my album. <laughs> uh, so some of the songs I will restructure them and put it on. Wow. What about music videos? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. All. I can't really say all, but if. Don't go to just say at yeah. this, I don't, I don't see now. <laughs> it is yeah, miracle that just happened. Oh. I won't say Baba the year this thing. Make it come to drop money for video. Oh. Oh. All right, so let's say congratulations for making it on a Thriller's top 10. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Big I saw chat, that. Yeah. That was yeah. big for you, yeah. right? Very. Even on uh, TikTok as well. Well done. I have over 150,000 people jumping on this song. Oh, it's a song. Crazy. Amazing. Crazy, crazy. Well Thank you so much, Fioki, for coming on the show today. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us. Thank and I hope that people <laughs> will be able to learn from this. All right. We will be back after this time out. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, shit.